Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got some foil nail art stickers from She Modern to demo for you. I got these sent to me by Tina Too from She Modern and I would like to go ahead and let you know there's no water needed for these. These are actual stickers, not water decals. And I got to pick out the design and the colors I wanted. These are real easy. You're going to just peel off the sticker from the backing and you're going to stick the nail art onto your fingernail and seal it in with a clear top coat. They prefer you use a gel top coat, but I'm going to show you something a little different today. And I've already played with them and that's what it looked like. There's a clear plastic over the top of them. You're going to want to remove that before you get started. And today I'm going to be using some little tweezers to peel these up. And I'm going to peel this big one up and put it on my middle finger. You're going to take your finger and rub it down really well. Make sure it's laying nice and flat. Um, they've got pretty good adhesive on them, so they stick really well. You're just going to want to make sure that you know they don't have any air pockets or anything in them. So we've got that one down, and we're going to use this other flower. I'm going to kind of do a mix and match design today. And I'm going to kind of put that one on diagonally. And once again, you're going to rub it down with your fingertip. And there we go. So far, so good. And I'm going to put one of that same flower that I have on my pointer finger, but I'm going to use one of the little bitty ones. And I'm going to put that on my pinky. I love that they come in different sizes and that you could, you know, put two of the little ones on a finger or a big one or a big one and a little one, depending on how big your nails are. Aren't these foils just gorgeous? They're so blingy, they're bothering my camera. Ugh. Come on. See how shiny they are? <laughs> Okay, now for my thumb, I am going to do that, what I was saying. I'm going to put a couple of different ones on my thumb. So I'm going to start off with another one of the little round ones, like on my middle finger. I'm going to put it up at the top and rub it down, all nice and smooth. And it's just so blingy. I'm s sorry, my camera's not picking it up very well. And then I'm going to use this other one that I used on my ring finger. I'm going to use the tiny one like it and go across my thumb on that one, on my thumbnail. I'm just smoothing that out. See how easy that was? Today I'm going to put the Unt Peel Off Base Coat down over top of the foils before I put a for real base coat over the top of them. I know not everybody has gel polish, so I wanted to give you guys some options. And so far, so good. This is not wrinkling them. It's not making them crack or bubble. It's not distorting that foil image at all. It's just perfect. There we go. We're going to put that on there. And I am going to let this dry completely before I apply my top coat because I really do not want to run any risk of damaging or messing with the beautifulness of these nail art foils. Got to break out my orange wood stick and do a little cleanup. And before I forget, I will leave a link for She Modern down below if you would like to go check them out. They've um, got all sorts of different designs and colors for you to choose from. They're just absolutely gorgeous. And I would also like to thank Tina, too, and She Modern for sending me these. I just feel really honored that they would send me products to review on my channel. how pretty. Oh, I just love them. Got a little bit 
a little bit more cleanup to do. But I do think that using the Oint to peel off base coat, and I think any water-based um, top coat or base coat would work. Today I'm going to use an OPI top coat, and this was from the Designer Series, and it's just a, it's, it's not a fast drying top coat, it's just a regular top coat. And I'm just going to apply that over the top of everything and let it just dry, air dry. I'm not going to put them in front of the fan and they don't go under a light or anything, just going to let them air dry. And I just really ended up loving this manicure. I thought it was so cute. And they've got these um, stickers. They've got them in like cherries and hearts and cupids and flip-flops and fish. There's just so much to choose from. And here we go. We're going to top coat this pinky. Glad my camera finally decided to behave so that you can see how pretty they are. Kristen had to go mess it up. And there we go. Oh look, now you get to see the real deal. Aren't they just so cute? <laughs> I really, really was enjoying these. They were a lot of fun to wear. And what's great is they were so easy to do. My colors that I picked were pink and mint. Just in case you're curious. So that is the pink and mint mix. I would like to thank you all for dropping by and checking out my video. Here's my swatch photo. I would love to hear what you think about these. Leave me a comment down below, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.